Embedded systems development has high demands on deterministic execution and safety. To meet these needs, you may be using a platform that separates algorithm code from target-specific services, like scheduling and data communication. To integrate your simulac models into your system, you need embedded coder to generate C code that calls services provided by the platform. For example, in a multi-core, multitasking system, you may want import exhaust temp to read from a service interface API. The service interface API generated for exhaust temp is precise to your platform and includes appropriate data safeguarding and custom naming. In R2022B, we're introducing a service interface with embedded coder that makes deploying components to multitasking targets easier. You may already be deploying your models as pluggable components and using storage classes to define component interfaces. While this works well, if you're deploying components to multitasking targets, then you often need special blocks to handle how the model accesses data. Last year, we delivered a support package describing best practices for deploying components to multitasking targets. The support package includes blocks, model guidelines, and model advisor checks. The new service interface makes all of this even easier. You can configure how the model accesses your platform services, whether it's a standardized platform or a custom platform. Model elements access the services on your platform, such as senders and receivers, data transfers to control data exchange between different functions or components, and timers that use the hardware clock. Furthermore, a multitasking platform requires safeguarding communication between tasks as illustrated in this timing diagram. For example, task two may be preempting task one, and task three may be executing concurrently with task one. It can be challenging to deal with this complexity when generating code for a model as a component. The new service interface generates code that handles these complexities automatically, which streamlines the code customization process. To use the service interface, create a shared embedded coder dictionary and configure service interfaces. Modelers then use the configurations by mapping model elements, like imports and outports, to the service interfaces you've defined. When you generate code, You'll get model functions that can be called by an external scheduler, and model elements will generate service calls that match your service interface configuration. First, we'll create an embedded coder dictionary for Model Explorer. Type in a file name and select the service interface type. We can configure the service interface templates. In our system, we know that input values can change while the function's running, so we'll set up a new receiver service interface. We'll name the receiver service interface receiver during execution. Then we'll set the data communication method to during execution. This tells the code generator that the data may change while the algorithm code is executing. In other words, the code generator may need to buffer the data locally to make sure the model calculates the result using coherent data. When you use a service interface, these low level details are handled automatically and only when necessary. We can also change the naming rule so it'll call the appropriate software API. When you're done, you can use one of these services as the default that the model will use. We only need to create these configurations once. They can be shared across any number of models. Let's use these service configurations with the model. Launch the Embedded Coder app, and we'll link the model to the Embedded Coder dictionary that we created. Launch the Code Mappings Editor to view and configure code mappings. By default, modeling elements are mapped to default code configurations configured in the embedded coder dictionary. This is represented by the setting dictionary default. You can override the settings if required by selecting another service. I want import our data to use receiver during execution. If there are additional properties to be configured, they can be configured via the mapping inspector. Now we'll generate the code. Your system scheduler can call the model functions to run the algorithm. Inside the model function, each model element generates a call to the service according to its data communication method. Since import our data is mapped to receiver during execution, the input is read into a local buffer. As I described before, the code generator copies the value of our data into a temporary buffer since it knows the data value might change during the execution of the function. Blocks that use time generate timer calls appropriate for each model function. You've been asking for an easy way to see the function prototypes used by the generated code. Use the updated code generation interface report to see what services the code requires. Embedded Coder 
generates a services header file to ease integration. You can continue to dynamically verify your generated code using software in the loop and processor in the loop testing. The service interface introduced in R2022B in Embedded Coder streamlines component deployment. You can easily set data communication methods to reduce complicated customizations and set up your model to user platform's services. These features make it easier for you to integrate your model's generated code from Embedded Coder into any platform or environment.